Did you buy an iPhone 14? Here are the best GAN chargers to fast charge your iPhone and all of your other devices. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Whether or not you have an iPhone 14, iPhone 13, or iPhones, iPads, Macs, you need a good charger. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some of the best GAN chargers that are out there. I'm gonna start off with the smaller capacity models and work my way up to some massive, massive, massive GAN charge that you can charge a bunch of devices with at the same time, including your 16 inch MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and start off this video. One question you might have is, what's a GAN charger and why you should care? So GAN is short for gallium nitride chargers and it replaces the silicon chargers that have flooded the market for many, many years. The biggest benefits with GAN chargers, it's able to keep the heat down more. With lower heat, it's able to increase the output of the chargers or keep similar outputs, but in a smaller space than silicon based chargers. So a lot of these GAN chargers that you're gonna see are a lot smaller in size than most of the traditional chargers that have been on the market for quite a while now. So those are the big benefits of GAN. We're also seeing more and more speeds with USB PD 3.0 and 3.1. So it's a lot of cool stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into this, starting off with a 30 watt GAN charger. The first GAN charger on the list is this tiny little 30 watt charger from Nomad. This Nomad 30 watt charger is great. It's got a single USB-C port and it can provide up to 30 watts of power for any of your devices, including the iPhone 14 that can fast charge with a 30 watt brick. The downside to this is that the prongs do not fold. So that is one minor downside to this is you are stuck with the, the prongs sticking out at all times, but still, this is one of the smallest 30 watt chargers that you can find on the market and they produce a lot of other really high quality Apple and iPhone accessories. Mophie has an excellent compact USB-C GAN chargers as well. This is another 30 watt charger, but it's a little bit bigger. And the reason why is because it does have the collapsible prongs. So these do pop in and out as needed, which I love these for tiny ones that you bring with you. So yeah, if you need another small option, this one here is from Mophie. I don't have one on hand, which is why it's the last um, 30 watt charger that I'm gonna talk about, but Anchor. Anchor crushes it on Amazon as a charging brand and their PowerPort Nano series are very popular. The latest version comes in all these different colors, perfectly updated, just in time for the latest iPhones. So Belkin just released its newest GAN chargers right before I started production on this video. So there's a couple different models. This is the 45 watt, Boost Charge Pro. It's a dual USB-C output wall charger. Again, 45 watts. What's nice here is the prongs do fold back, which makes it really nice for a portable charger to carry around. And there are the two different ports that combined will output up to 45 watts of power. So the first one can either do up to 25 watts or 45 watts max, and the second one will do 20 or 45. So if you have two high power devices plugged in, it's gonna split that charge down. Uh, if you use a single one, it can get up to 45 watts of power. More than enough to fast charge your iPhone 14, or other devices. If you'd like a bit more juice, a bit more, you can opt for the 65 watt of the Boost Charge Pro dual USB-C charger. So this version, tiny bit bigger, a little bit more wattage on the output. The top one can do 45 or 65 watt as its max, and the second one will do 20 or 65. So you can charge like an iPhone on the bottom one with 20 watts and something much quicker on the top with up to 45 watts. So it breaks down a little bit differently. Higher output here if you've got some higher power devices, you got some iPads, you got a MacBook Air, something like that that you need to charge at the same time with a little compact charger. It is barely bigger than the 45 watt one, Personally, I lean towards the 65, just get a little bit more output. It's not much bigger. I would lean towards the larger output of these two. For a slightly different form factor of a 65 watt charger, we have the Nomad GAN charger. So again, very similar to what Belkin is offering. So two USB-C outputs and folding prongs down the back. Uh, biggest thing here, maybe just aesthetic of this. I do really like this gunmetal gray uh, exterior, the black on the front. It looks very sleek, sleek very similar to um, kind of like a darker pro looking design versus a very white 
Apple aesthetic of the Belkin ones. Definitely comes down to personal preference. It's not much bigger. I'd say this is going to be a tad uh, uh, thicker than the Belkin one is, but still, great option if you're looking for a slightly higher uh, middle-of-the-road 65-watt charger. Another 65-watt one to consider is from Sateki. So Sateki's is very different because this is actually a three-port output one. So you have folding prongs along the back. It's kind of tall and skinny, and you've got three USB-C PD ports that you can use to charge your devices. What's cool here is that uh, Sateki makes various models of these, all in a very similar footprints. So if you need more or less power, you can choose those options. The 65 is a good sweet spot, especially for three devices because you can fast charge at 30 watts for your iPhone, but you have more wiggle room. If you want to charge your Apple Watch, your AirPods, uh, an iPad, anything like that at the same time, or if you plug in a single high power device uh, like a Mac, you can get 65 at from just the one USB-C port. So check these guys out. There's a few different models to consider, but I like these. These are definitely a fan favorite. I have a second Mophie charger here. This one is just slightly higher than the other ones that we just looked at. This is a 67 watt GAN charger rather than 65. I do think it's a little bit on the larger side for a 67 watt charger, uh, but it is not bad at all. It still has the built-in prongs along the back, two USB-C ports, and what is nice, both of them do the same output. So they both can do maximum of 67 watts, or combined for 67 watts of total power. But I like that you don't have to know if there's like a fast one or a slower one, they both do the exact same speeds. I do have one more from Mophie to check out. This is Mophie's new GAN travel charging kit. So it comes in this really nice little felt case with some faux leather accenting the front. You can remove the little elastic strap and inside you're gonna find everything you need to charge up on the go. So we do have our GAN charger here. We have a one and a half meter power cable and then we have two additional cables that are tucked in here. So two cables complete with cable ties that we have available in the kit is a pure USB-C to USB-C cable on the right and a USB-C to lightning cable there on the left. Uh, the lightning cable is Apple certified, so it's an actual MFI certified lightning cable that you can use for fast charging your iPhone. Then the GAN charger itself, this is capable of 120 watts of total power output. So 120 watt GAN charger, three USB-C and one USB-A. With this little kit, it is in a great option. Uh, just awesome thing to be able to take with you. Grab your charger, grab your cables, toss in the little pouch, you're good to go. So 120 watt GAN charger from Mophie. This next charger on the list might be hitting the sweet spot for a lot of you. And that is another one from Sateki. So this is Sateki's 165 watt GAN charger. And there's a couple things that make it pretty special. First, I do like the design. It's kind of a standard design for them. It has a one of those kind of figure eight power cables along the back, comes with a power cable in the box. Very easy to swap these out as you were traveling. So if you go around the world, you need a different power cable. Uh, easy to get a different one because they're pretty standard. So good power cable connection here. Really easy to connect to a bedside or anything like that and have this available. Great for on your desk. I love it. The second thing is there are four USB-C ports here. So USB PD1, PD2, PD3, PD4. One thing to note about these is while it does 165 watt total, ports can be only limited to about 100 watts. So the first three ports can all do 100 watts of output when used more or less on their own. And then the fourth one is capable of 60 watts. So you could have um, one of the first three up to 100 watts out for like a 16 inch MacBook Pro, still get 60 watts out of your bottom one there. So they don't label these, which I think is a downside. You don't know that the PD4 port is slower than the rest of them, but I'm telling you, so now, now you'll know. But this is, does 165 watts, which is a great amount of power above the 65 ones that we were just looking at. Another nice benefit here is it comes with a tiny little stand. Yeah, this is awesome. Makes it even better for putting on your desk or your nightstand. It just fits on nice and cozy, nice and snug. Plop this down, you get a perfect little desktop charger for desk, nightstand, office, anything like that with four USB-C ports available. So higher wattage output here and more USB-C. Okay, 
I get it. You've got your iPhone 14, you've got your iPhone 13, you got more iPhones, but you have other devices too and you need more power. More power, pulling out a tool time reference for anyone who still watched that show, but we're gonna bump it up. So going from 65 or 165 watts all the way up to 200 watts. This is the 200 watt charger from Ugreen. Ugreen's 200 watt GAN charger. This is pretty cool as well. So first, cable. It has a very nice power cable included in the box. It is removable on the back. Standard Mickey Mouse connector, if you've seen those around, but it's just a nice cable that smoothly goes in there. It looks like it was kind of created for this product, not just an off-the-shelf component. It has a cable tie built in, so you can wrap that up with some Velcro to keep it more manageable. It's a good length of the power cable, so it can fit behind desks, beds, anything like that. On the bottom of the charger are four little silicone feet. Gives a little bit of a raised surface, so there's a tiny amount of airflow which will help with heat dissipation, and you're gonna need it, because again, 200 watts of power output from this charger. So, what are the ports on here? There are six. There are six ports on the 200 watt U-Green GAN charger. So, the first Four of them are USB-C PD ports, and the last two are USB-A for any of those legacy devices that you have out there. I love this because you're gonna get that fast charge from those four ports that are USB-C, but you're not taking away USB-C ports. They're just adding two extra ones to give you six total with USB-A on there. So this is the most ports on any of the chargers that we're looking at really high output, 200 combined watts. One port, the max it'll get is 100 watts of output because they're all USB-C PD 3.0. 3.1 is what ups that above 100 watts. So only a 100 watts on the USB-C ports. This is a great charger. I like it a lot. I like the horizontal nature of it. It makes it a little bit slimmer to fit into more places. Very cool charger from Ugreen. If 200 watts is not enough, for your iPhone and other accessories, then maybe this is the one you are looking for. Maxing out our list with 245 watts of GAN power is this new one from Hyper. This Hyper charger has four USB-C PD ports and every single one of those ports is capable of 100 watts of power. You do not need to worry which port you are plugging into, as long as you have enough bandwidth in that combined 245 watt maximum, you can get 100 watts from any of the four ports. This is massive because there's no difference which one you use. You don't have to know which ones are faster or slower. It's uniform across the board. Fantastic job here from Hyper. I like it. It's got this like metal looking space gray body that matches Apple's Max, matte front and uh, gray along the back. Standard charger, again, swap these out if you ever need to, cable goes bad, or if you're traveling and need to do a different cable for a different country, easy to do. Sits flat, perfect on your desk, anywhere else. A maximum amount of power, 245 watts for 100 watt USB-C PD ports. This is the top of the list for those who need just a ton of power for their gear. So that rounds it up. Those are the best GAN chargers to fast charge your new iPhone 14, your other iPhone, or any of your other Apple gear, iPads, Macs, Apple Watches, your battery packs, anything like that. GAN chargers will be taking over the market and you might as well start collecting them now. If you'd like to grab any of these chargers for yourself, there are links down below in the description. Let me know which one is your favorite, which one meets your needs. Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, or if you have another GAN charger that you like, hit me up on there as well. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more coverage, including on the iPhone 14, coming your way.